doesn't quite describe the night officers had, but it certainly was full of dangerous activity that ultimately ended with the police catching their guy. An unusual disturbance at the Veterans Inn in Dow. It appeared as though he was trying to steal two cars out on the street. Around 10.30 Sunday night, the Sheriff's Department got a call that a man was trying to fight patrons, throwing chairs and bricks. He had assaulted a, a one individual and had battered another person, hitting them in the head with a shovel. Captain Michael Leary identifies that man as 24-year-old Grant Schote. But before police could apprehend Schote, he had stolen a first responder's SUV. Well, it was his personal vehicle. He was off duty, just happened to be passing by and uh, saw someone down and stopped to render aid. And uh, unfortunately for him, the guy jumped in his car and took off. Well, Leary says Schote made a stop at KT's gas station in Ellsville when police spotted him. He then took off, tearing the nozzle and hose out of the gas pump that hit a car as he headed towards Carbondale. Officials say the chase came to a startling halt when Schote turned on North Poplar Street, picked up on the gas, and ran straight to a Carbondale police car. Squad car was stationary with one officer inside at the time. Schote was immediately arrested. And fortunately, the officer walked away unharmed. Very minor injuries. Um, he refused treatment at the hospital, from what I understand. Even though police were able to catch their man, the dangerous decision to follow a pursuit is not taken lightly. It's uh, absolutely a judgment call that, that uh, requires a lot of consideration. Police say Schote was cited for aggravated fleeing to elude reckless driving, assault, aggravated battery, and more. He's being held in the Jackson County Jail, waiting official charges from the state's attorney. In the newsroom, Heavy Allen, News 3.